This training video is an introduction to working with pictures in Flowworks. To import a picture, you can use a media icon on the floating toolbar, or if you have customized your toolbars, you may find it on the side toolbar, which is where I've placed mine. You can also bring in images from the Resources tab. Once you click on the Media button, you can look through your folders on your computer for your desired image. After you select the image, to bring it into your presentation, you just need to click and drag the image to the desired size. You will notice four icons appear around the picture. The icon on the upper left allows you to move the image around the screen. You can also move your image by using the arrow buttons on your keyboard. The icon on the upper right allows you to rotate the image. The icon on the bottom right will allow you to resize your image. The button on the bottom left is the edit button. It gives you several functions for your image. You can cut and paste. Once you select cut, you would select the paste icon on the toolbar that popped up. Click on the area you would like to paste the image. You can paste as many images as you want. When you are done pasting the image, click the clear board option on the toolbar. You can also copy and paste your image using those same steps. Flowworks allows you to use Windows shortcuts such as Ctrl C and Ctrl V for copy and paste. You can delete your image using this menu, or you can use the delete button on your keyboard. You can use the edit menu to group images. Using your select tool, swipe through all the images or objects you would like to group. Click on the Edit menu, go to Group, and select Group. This will lock your images and objects together and they will act as one object. You would follow the same steps to ungroup the objects. You can lock an image or object which would prevent it from being moved from the screen. You would follow the same steps to unlock the object. You can hide an object on the page. In the edit menu, go to visibility and select hide. When you'd like to reveal the object, go to the Edit menu, select Visibility, and select Show. In the Edit menu, you can set Drag Cloning, which will allow you to clone the image by just clicking and dragging on it. You can click and drag as many images as you'd like. Cloning will give you just one copy of the image or object. Order allows you to move the image or object to the top or bottom layer, or anywhere in between. Flip will flip your image or object vertically, vertically or horizontally. Mirror will mirror your image to the left, right, upward, or downward. Playback will play back all the operations you have done to this image or object. If you want to play back all operations on the slide, you would want to use Slide Playback. Loop Playback 
will repeat the video of the actions for that image until you select Stop. The Display Properties browser for images will allow you to turn on and off the Show Hide feature, the Lock feature, and the Dry Cloning feature. The Show Toolbar option allows you to adjust the transparency of your image. The sliding toolbar adjusts the transparency for the entire image. The Set Transparent color will allow you to remove the background color of an image. Display Rotational Center will show you where the center of rotation is occurring. And it also allows you to move the rotational center. Transform Rotational Center allows you to lock the rotational center for the image. This means the rotational center will move with the image anywhere on the page. For more information about your Flowworks software, go to the File menu and select Help. This will open the Flowworks manual where you can find more detailed information about your Flowworks software.